just arrived in San Francisco, and this is what I've been given by the hotel. Everyone must wear a face covering. Covering your face is now mandatory and help prevent spread of COVID-19. Face covering, scarf, balaclava, any type of cloth, say bandana, scarves, any type of cloth can be used and stay six feet apart. Businesses are required to refuse services to anyone who does not comply. And as a Department of Public Health here in California, particularly um, in San Francisco. I've got my mask. I'm going to put it on. Oh, but I haven't got my shirt. Let me put the shirt on. Don't. <laughs> I'll tell you folks, there are no jokes about this. Take matters seriously. It is important. And if we all follow the guidelines set by the professionals who does the work of the public and make sure that your health and your well-being is in your hands and it's your responsibility. And in turn, if you ever to go out in the public, remind yourself that you're not alone. You're in public, which means public space. Public space is also the space for the others. Others just like you and me. So at these very difficult and challenging and most importantly, extremely sensitive times, the most important th thing that we can all do is taking a personal responsibility, personal accountability, and personal assurance that you are not going to be a nuisance by doing the wrong thing. There are no wrong things, there are no right things. But what we all know that we can all get on with our lives by doing what is necessary and what is needed during the times like this, when there's something contagiously terrible and invisible, none of us can see where it is, it is everywhere. All we can do is be alert, be responsible, be aware where necessary. Always, always keep your hands clean, washed, do not need to touch unless People do not really need to touch. Keep your distance and have your mask, face covering, anything that conceals the particles and evaporated particles of your saliva in the air. We all can be part of this and we can all walk the full stride when we are responsible, when we are particularly responsible of individual life and individual consciousness. This is what is lacking. That is, this is what has caused a tremendous problem to all of us, that none of us took it too seriously. We can avoid further difficulties in our lives, in our families, in our communities, in our cities, in our, on our nations and across the planet. We can all walk the full stride that as human beings can do. It is in our hands. We're meant to be clever, cerebrally evolve creature on the planet. If we can't keep ourselves consciously and responsibly alert, 
to all the guidelines that to this day science have combined and come up with. Do what is needed and stay healthy, stay alert, stay responsible. I'll repeat this as long as it is needed and it is important that we all step gently with whatever we do that we have slowed the pace of our lives it is in our hands now to slow and eradicate also this COVID-19 virus that is intruding and penetrating and restricting our way of life so which one would you choose to be responsible we don't need laws we just need to be responsible conscious accountable and alert and more importantly your life is in your hands and it is your business to keep it well keep it healthy and just an unfortunate event you got COVID isolate yourself make sure that you do not pass it on to anybody else the least you can do is be responsible and conscious and be fully alert remain at distance being responsible is what we were lacking and to this day being responsible is what is causing tremendous pain suffering struggle death and extreme uncertainties in society I think if we walk if we walk in the same direction for the health and well-being and safety of yourself I'm sure this direction will get us safe, healthy, and well to our destination. And in turn, we can all continue with our lives the way we have, yet reminding ourselves of the gentle and fragile and mortal nature of life on earth a gentler approach to life is what is needed at these testing times take care happy and a joyful weekend and remain healthy wherever you are